Uh, welcome, everyone. This is Dr. Kondrat, and I want to thank you so much for uh, attending the microcurrent webinar. I believe that microcurrent is the key uh, to our future health. Um, my wife and I, uh, we just returned from the Camino uh, de Santiago. This is a 500-mile pilgrimage through northern Spain, and we uh, faced all sorts of weather crossing the Pyrenees um, mountains. So we uh, had a very, very cold weather, cold rain, uh, and then we also had extremely hot weather. It was uh, an amazing trip. Uh, we met a lot of friends along the way. Spain is uh, very, very beautiful. And of course, the, the purpose of this uh, trip was to raise awareness and hope for all the folks out there who are suffering from macular degeneration. And I want to thank all of you for supporting me along the way. It was just a wonderful experiment, experience, and I think that um, a person's life has changed doing something like this. You learn to live uh, in a very simple uh, manner, uh, and uh, it was just a, a wonderful experience. And one of the traditions on the Camino is to leave a rock or a pebble. And I like this stone that I saw along the trail. Leave your regrets, your worries, your anger, all upsets, even your wishes. Be free. And of course, many of you have anxieties and worries about your eyes. And I hope that I can share with you some methods and give you hope that there is a way to restore lost vision. And during the Camino, every place you stay, you receive a stamp. So you keep a passport book. And uh, this is a, a picture of our passport. After 32 days, we averaged about 15 to 20 miles a day. And this is our final certificate written in Latin that was given to us uh, at the church, the Cathedral of St. James in, in Santiago. And if you really want to learn more about the Santiago, we have a, a blog. You can go to healingtheeye.com forward slash Camino. You can read about our daily adventures. Also, there's a wonderful uh, movie called The Way starring Martin Sheen. It's interesting. Martin Sheen plays an ophthalmologist in the movie who ends up doing the Camino and how it changes his life. And uh, another great book is called Field of Stars by Kevin Codd. It's a Catholic priest who did the Camino and he talks about the mysticism of the Camino, the miracles. And of course, while I was doing the Camino, one of the wishes that I had that there would be a miracle in all of the patients that I touched, that they would see an improvement of their vision, they would regain function, and uh, they would achieve a much better level of vision. Uh, microcurrent, I use microcurrent every day on the Camino. Um, I started by treating jet lag. There's a six hour time difference from uh, the East Coast to uh, Spain. So one of the issues I had to deal with was jet lag. We had to get up early in the morning uh, to hike. And the time difference, uh, uh, for those of you that do travel, can be a, a real problem. So um, the jet lag program uh, was amazing. Every night, my wife and I would do the jet lag program, and it would kind of reset our body clock. Also, uh, there's a wonderful program, Reducing Inflammation and Fatigue. And of course, you know, when you're hiking 15 to 20 miles every day, your body has a lot of inflammation and fatigue, and we would run that program at night. Treating muscular aches. Um, I had some knee problems and foot uh, issues, uh, some tendonitis and some pain on the sole of my feet and the microcurrent worked extremely well for that. And something I discovered was microcurrent water. I know this is going to sound far-fetched, but right now you can't help but hearing about all this specialized water that's on the market, ASEA, cocoon water, etc. the water that's supposed to be molecularly arranged to uh, give you more energy to help your body heal. So my wife and I did an experiment. 
we ran um, some microcurrent frequencies into our water bottle before we left. And that day we were going to have a particularly long day. Normally we do between 15 and 20 miles. And this day we had to finish 25 miles. So we reached the 20 mile mark and our bodies were extremely fatigued. The last five miles was uphill and it was extremely hot. We were ready to give up. So we both drank a bottle of this special microcurrent water and my wife and I were both amazed. We felt rejuvenated and we felt uh, tremendous energy, almost like we just started in the morning. So it was uh, uh, something that really got me thinking and this is something I'm gonna be talking about at the next microcurrent conference and something I'm gonna be experimenting with with athletes to see if they have some uh, improvement of performance uh, by drinking the microcurrent water. And there's a picture of me late at night holding uh, the gloves, uh, doing my um, microcurrent treatment for inflammation. And uh, the gentle current goes through your whole body. It reduces inflammation, helps regeneration. And this is what really kept me going, being age 65, uh, walking uh, 15 to 20 miles a day for 32 days. Uh, it, uh, I attribute my success to uh, microcurrent. And there's a picture of my wife also doing uh, a program. So this was part of our daily care every time we returned home. And this is uh, using microcurrent to treat uh, a sore toe. Um, it was rubbing it up against the boot. And uh, I did an inflammation program on my toe, which uh, also helped. So why learn microcurrent? I really believe that uh, microcurrent is going to be the medicine of the future. Ed energy medicine is the medicine of the future. Our bodies are electrical systems and our life force is electrical current. And we have to think in terms of electrons are the healing fuel of the body. And microcurrent is safe, inexpensive, and proven by nas many national studies to be effective. Of course, maybe the initial purchase of the microcurrent machine uh, may be an investment, but once you own your mo own microcurrent machine, it can be a valuable tool for administering frequencies every day, uh, depending on your situation, to help keep your body healthy. And of course, in my practice, I primarily use microcurrent to help treat people with eye problems but I'm learning more and more that microcurrent is more than just for your eyes, it's for your whole body. So if you've been thinking about microcurrent, those of you that do not have a microcurrent machine, we are now offering a two-day training workshop on how microcurrent can benefit you. And these training workshops are to educate you so you will be uh, able then to utilize the microcurrent machine. And if you're interested, then you can buy a customized machine uh, after this two day training. So this is a way that uh, you can get involved. And, you know, people always ask me, well, why can't I just buy the microcurrent machine uh, without the training? Well, one, it is uh, the microcurrent is regulated by the FDA. It is required that you're under a doctor's supervision. So, um, Part of it is uh, receiving the proper training so you can benefit from the machine. Also, the machine is customized for your individual needs. So we just don't sell generic microcurrent machines. These machines either have a three, five, or a 10 program setup, and each program is specific for uh, your needs. Training locations are in Dade City, Florida, where our Florida Wellness Center is located. Also, St. Peach, St. Pete Beach, Florida, uh, where our annual eighth annual microcurrent conference is being held, also in Fort Myers and in Phoenix, Arizona. So you'll learn the basics of microcurrent, how to select programs, how to use your microcurrent machine, and once you complete your training, you'll be qualified to buy a three, five, or ten program microcurrent machine. Plus, we have a special bonus session on the use of the Avazia microcurrent machine. The Avazia is a different type of microcurrent, and I'll talk a little bit about 
the Avazia machine uh, a little bit later. So these are the dates. Uh, in fact, next week we're having a program. So those of you that really are interested and you want to get started soon, that would be next week, uh, two days at the Florida Wellness Center. October 1st and 2nd, the uh, Get Started program will be held in conjunction with our microcurrent case conference. This is a five-day conference, but the first two days will be to get started with microcurrent. We also have one in Phoenix, Arizona, November 11th and 12th. Those of you that are listening from the West Coast and who may not want to travel to Florida, we have one in Southern Florida at Fort Myers early in January. And then we have another one in April in Fort Myers. We also have the Inspirstar Level 1. This is for all of you that already own a microcurrent machine. Um, and, uh, or if you've taken the Get Started program. Uh, or if you're a licensed practitioner and you don't own a machine. Typically, I do not recommend that a patient take the Inspirstar Level 1 training unless they have their own machine or they've completed the Get Started uh, program. So this is a more advanced course. You learn the basics of frequencies. You learn how to select your own programs for a treatment. You learn how to add and change programs. So uh, you do need to have moderate knowledge of a PC operation, and you need to bring your own window PC computer to the workshop. In order to be successful, you have to have your own computer. There is a charge for the software and for all the programs. So there is an additional charge in addition, in addition to the course fee. But many patients are taking the Inspirstar Level 1 because then they're able to program their own machine, make changes in their, in their machine without the need to send them to the office or have me do them. So it is an investment and it is a way to save money if you're changing your programs and you want to have the uh, flexibility of all of the programs that we offer. Now, this was really exciting. On May the 25th, my birthday this year, the New York Times Magazine, the lead article was called The Body Electric. Mainstream is becoming interested in microcurrent. When the New York Times Magazine, which is a conservative newspaper, starts talking about microcurrent, you know that the trend is being accepted. And Kevin Tracy, researcher at the Feinstein Institute for Medical Research said there was nothing in the scientific thinking that said electricity would do anything. It was an anathema to logic. Nobody thought it would work. But despite the uncertainties in August of last year, GlaxoSmithKline is investing over 5 million in their set point project in their bioelectronics to look at frequencies in their research and development. And they've also established a $50 million fund to support the science of bioelectronics. Microcurrent has been shown to be effective in treating rheumatoid arthritis, and it is felt that someday it may be effective in treating hypertension, asthma, diabetes, epilepsy, infertility, obesity, and cancer. This is not a one-trick pony, according to a researcher. Of course, those doctors like myself who have been doing microcurrent, and I've been doing microcurrent for over 15 years, will tell you that we can treat these conditions right now. I know that it's effective in hypertension. It has helped diabetes. It's helped asthma. It's helped cancer patients. So microcurrent is going to be uh, the treatment of the future. And I like this, Dr. Roger Bilica, who's a integrative doctor from Colorado. He made this, this statement, if my office caught fire, the first thing I would save is my microcurrent machine. And I feel very strongly too, except I have to change that if my office caught fire, the first thing I would save would be my wife and the staff, then I would save my microcurrent machine. It's invaluable for what I do. Uh, Dr. James Oshman uh, wrote a book called Energy Medicine, The Scientific Basis 
and this isn't hearsay. He reviewed all the scientific liter literature, peer review study. And he feels strongly that the cell receptor theory is a bunch of bunk. Every medical doctor is taught the cell receptor theory. Now, what is this? Well, when you take a drug, it interacts with the cell membrane. There's a receptor. The drug you take binds with this receptor and causes a physiological action. For example, if you have high blood pressure, you take a antihypertensive medication and that medication attaches itself to an arterial wall or a receptor in the brain to signal relaxation of the arteries and it lowers the blood pressure. Most researchers feel now that it is statistically impossible for this to work, that they have a counter theory that every drug and pharmaceutical agent has a certain frequency or vibration much like microcurrent has a frequency or vibration, which causes the physiological effects. Uh, Robert Becker wrote the book, The Body Electric, and he's done some amazing research in the field of regeneration. And he states that everything electrical stems from the phenomenon of charge, matter that exists in two opposite forms or polarities, which we arbitrarily call positive and negative. So acupuncture is based on a bioelectric flow. Our cells are like batteries and they need electrical stimulation for repair and regeneration. So microcurrent focuses this energy to the disease area of the eye or any part of that body for that matter to stimulate healing. And uh, Becker did some experiments where he actually amputated a limb of a salamander and using microcurrent, he was able to regenerate the limb. When he blocked the electrical current, the limb would not regenerate. Dr. Jerry Tennant has a theory that disease is a lack of electrons, that disease is a low voltage. So uh, uh, this chart looks kind of confusing here, uh, but uh, you can see that when the voltage is low, uh, then you become initially become tired, sick, and organ failure. Then when it changes polarity at zero, you have pain, decreased oxygenation, and finally the most severe. Uh, uh, lack of voltage, and this is a plus number down here, this is 65, is cancer when the voltage is plus 30. Uh, when the voltage is higher, and you can see minus 90, my, uh, minus 100, minus 105, this is the symptoms of healing. So Dr. Tennant feels that we need electrons. Disease is electron deficiency. Health is a good source of electrons. And you may have heard that alkaline pH, you need to have your alkaline, your blood and alkaline pH. This is an electron rich pH, which indicates health. And acidic pH is a deficiency in electrons. And that indicates disease. So one way we can tell if your body is healthy is to look at the pH of your blood. If it's alkaline, that means you have an excess of electrons. So electrons are lacking in any disease. So it makes sense that electrons are kind of like food. Our body needs electrons to function, and a deficiency of electrons will cause disease. So microcurrent is one therapy that can add electrons. I also use oxidative therapies. Ozone is O3. This is a highly charged, electron charged molecule. So it's actually putting electrons in your body. Acupuncture also puts energy in, electrons in. 
ultraviolet blood irradiation. We're taking the ultraviolet light from the sun, and this produces an electrical charge. Also, other light therapies, the syntonic light therapies, they help administer an electrical charge to the cell. Uh, Dr. Stephen Sinatra wrote a book called Earthing, and he feels that one way we can introduce electrons into our body is by taking off our shoes and socks and walking barefooted. You know, the earth has an electrical charge. So many of us spend time with rubber-soled shoes. We're not in contact with the earth. Dr. Sinatra feels that one of the most beneficial things you can do is to take off your shoes and socks, walk on the earth, you become grounded. And I think this is one of the reasons why we feel so energized when we're at the beach. Not only are we getting electrons from the sun, but the ocean is electron rich and we take off our shoes and we're walking in the salt water, which has an amazing charge and the wet sand, we are grounded and it's helping our body to heal. Now I became interested in microcurrent and the late 19, uh, around 1998, 99, when um, I read the article about Sam Sneed having his macular degeneration cured. I had the pleasure of treating Sam Sneed. Uh, and uh, for one week, I stayed at his place and he gave me golf lessons. And I gave a microcurrent. This was under the supervision of his family doctor. And his family doctor said, if I wasn't there to really observe what you did. I would have thought it would have been all bunk, but Sam did have an improvement of his vision. Uh, he didn't help me with my golf game, but um, I did help him with his eyes. And in fact, he told me that I should probably cut back for a year and then just give it up. So I did follow Sam's advice. I no longer golf. I'm too busy with my practice to golf. Another event occurred that showed me how phenomenal. My son, Sean, fell from a tree and he broke the piece of form bone. And this arrow indicates this small bone that doesn't have a blood supply. And the orthopedic surgeon wanted to do an open reduction. He wanted to open up the wrist, cut the wrist, and that's the most an artery to get it to heal. Uh, but he said, let's put a temporary cast on and see what will happen in a week. So he put the temporary cast on and I had my son, Sean, do microcurrent constantly. He ran microcurrent frequencies through the bone. When the orthopedic surgeon took the cast off, he was shocked. He's never seen a piece of form bone heal so quickly. Uh, but many orthopedic surgeons use microcurrent because one of the big problems when you have a hip fracture or bone fracture is getting the bone to heal. And microcurrent has been shown effective to do that. Uh, Lance Armstrong on the upper left, in addition to his blood doping, his cycling team routinely used microcurrent. Uh, my wife and I, the two athletes on the right, when we finished running the Rome Marathon, or that wasn't the Rome Marathon in that picture, that was the DC Marathon. We were so sore after that race, but 30 minute treatment with microcurrent completely rejuvenated our body. Uh, really amazing, the effect that microcurrent has. And this is uh, an example of me treating my foot uh, with microcurrent. I put together this book and I wrote this in the year 2000, Microcurrent Stimulation Miracle Eye Cure. This is the history of microcurrent, uh, treatment of macular degeneration, selecting your doctor. But since this time, I have now been using uh, microcurrent to treat just about every eye disease imaginable. Initially, when I started, I only treated macular degeneration now I'm getting very good success with glaucoma, helping to rejuvenate the optic nerve. I'm also using it to treat cataracts, uh, vitreous floaters. So remember this, if you have an eye problem, it's very simple. If you have an eye problem, no matter what it is, there's a chance that it's due to electron deficiency. Microcurrent will put more electrons in the tissue stimulate blood flow, stimulate cellular activity, and stimulate regeneration. Uh, in many cases, microcurrent will produce a miracle. But, and I'll talk a little bit later, other things need to be done in order for microcurrent 
to work effectively and for you to get the maximum benefit, you really need to have proper nutrition, proper hydration, the right mental mindset. And if you do have heavy metals, they have to be treated. This was an article published in the Journal of Orthopedics and Related Research. The Korean Dr. Chang looked at the effect of microcurrent on the cellular level of a rat. And his results indicated that between 50 and 500 microamps will cause an increase in mitochondrial activity and increase in ATP up to 500%, which is phenomenal. But the key thing about this article is between 50 and 500 microamps, this is a very, very low current. This current is not available in many TENS machines. The TENS machines have 1,000 to 2,000 microamps. It's much higher. TENS machines are used to block pain. Microcurrent is a completely different administration of electrical energy. It's an extremely low current, which stimulates cellular activity. So the danger many pe patients, people will buy an inexpensive microcurrent machine, which delivers a high current, and it is actually blocking the nervous impulses to the eye, and it can cause a loss of vision. So it is important that you have a microcurrent machine that has between 50 and 500 microamps. So these are the things that microcurrent can do. It can improve blood flow, uh, stimulate cellular activity, remove scar tissue, uh, reduces inflammation. It also has a neuroprotective effect. I find this extremely valuable in patients with glaucoma because not only can microcurrent help lower the pressure, improving circulation to the eye, it also has a neuroprotective effect. What I mean by that is when the pressures do increase, it gives more protection to the optic nerve so there's no additional damage to the eye. Um, removing scar tissue. Uh, many athletes use microcurrent to remove scar tissue, and it can be used to remove scar tissue in the eye. It also balances the autom autonomic nervous system. Why is that important? Well, I'm convinced that in order for the body to heal, your autonomic nervous system has to be in balance. If you're under stress, you're in the fight or flight situation, your body will not heal. It also treats neuropathies, very effective for treating neuropathies, diabetic neuropathy, polyneuropathies, nerve problems, circulatory problems in the legs. Very beneficial for treating depression, helping to stimulate different uh, neuroendocrines, which can uh, uh, produce endomorphs and produce a mood elevation to take care of depression. So it's a little bit different mechanism than balancing the autonomic nervous system, although balancing the autonomic nervous system will help with depression. Detoxification. There have been some studies to show that microcurrent can be valuable for helping to remove heavy metals. And interestingly, there's some studies to show that microcurrent stimulate stem cells. There's been a lot of interest in stem cell therapy for eye disease, but microcurrent itself can stimulate existing stem cells in your body, which is very valuable. Stimulate your own stem cells to get them working to regenerate the body. It lowers intraocular pressure. Uh, it re can reverse macular degeneration. Very big for facial rejuvenation. In fact, the number one use for microcurrent is facial rejuvenation. So ladies, that's another reason to get interested in microcurrent. It's a very safe, non-surgical way of doing a facelift uh, without the surgical approach. It also is very effective in cor correcting musculoskeletal problems scoliosis, deformities in the feet, etc. And all of these things you'll learn so much at our annual microcurrent case conference, which is going to be held October 1st through the 5th. So if I've piqued your interest a little bit and you really want to learn more about microcurrent, I'd highly recommend we have a, a, 
about 20 doctors that are coming from all over the world, uh, Germany, Portugal, Chile, talk about their experiences with microcurrent. So you're going to learn from the experts, uh, not only how microcurrent can help you with your eye, but how microcurrent can be an extremely valuable modality for you to use at home to keep your body healthy and to take care of physical ailments. Now, initially when we were doing microcurrent, um, we had these uh, big bulky machines that we had to uh, dial in each different frequency pair and run it on a timer and constantly change it. So the theory is that each tissue has a unique frequency or vibration. If you match the residence of microcurrent with the tissue, you're going to have harmony, a additive effect that will help cure or help support the tissue. So the goal is uh, to vary the frequencies to match the tissue. And it's kind of like a musical note. If you have two uh, C-sharp tuning forks and they're vibrating close to each other, they're going to be in harmony. So that's what we try to do. We're using these harmonious frequencies to help support the tissue and regeneration. So modern frequency-specific microcurrent utilizes hundreds of frequencies within the range of 0 0.1 to 999 hertz. And hertz is number of vibrations per second. So one hertz would be one frequency a second. 999 would be 999 vibrations a second. And we vary the intensity or current usually between 20 and 600, uh, based on Cheng's study that we don't want to go much higher than uh, 500 or 600 because it reduces cellular activity. So each tissue in the body has to be individualized. For example, the retina has a frequency of 95 and the macula 137. Uh, we also look at the type of pathology that's going on. So, for example, a hemorrhage has a frequency of 18 and edema or swelling is 14. So we match these different frequencies. And when we match the frequencies, we have harmony or an increase in effect. And these are some examples of channel A or pathology frequencies. 40 is inflammation, 284 chronic inflammation, 29 spasm, 18 hemorrhage, 13 scar tissue, and 970, um, an emotional component. And it's interesting, every tissue has an emotional component. So one of the more common frequencies that we use is this emotional component. So yes, there is an emotional component to the eye. And many uh, alternative and integrative doctors feel that treating the emotional state of the person will help uh, get the best results in treating any disease. And these are some examples of channel B or frequencies of the tissue, skin, muscle, ligaments, brain, and liver. So when I was doing the Camino de Santiago, I was using frequencies 46, which is muscle fatigue and 100 ligaments. So you can see that you can develop kind of like your own treatment protocol by combining these different frequencies. And unfortunately, um, uh, I'm going to send you a link here, Millie Ning. I can't show the video during this webinar, um, but when I do put together the replay to send you, I'll have these links, but uh, I'll send you the, the slides and you can link these. This shows uh, Millie Ning, a microcurrent therapist from Hong Kong, treating an industrial crush injury and also treatment of hallux vulgus, which is uh, pigeon toes. So when not to use microcurrent, I think microcurrent should be used in caution with a pacemaker, uh, seizure disorders, also site threatening conditions when surgery or medical uh, approaches will have a better outcome. And these include retinal detachment or uncontrolled glaucoma. But I believe that most chronic eye problems, in fact, most chronic conditions can be benefited uh, with microcurrent. So learn how to use microcurrent. Um, 
This is an example of the Inspirstar machine. We have uh, two gloves, they're silver impregnated silk gloves, which uh, deliver the microcurrent. Uh, we have different control settings. Um, there are five control buttons, and it's very simple. It's like running a, um, a DVD player or a, a, a video player. You have a start button, which begins. You have a pause, and you have a stop. And you also have the percent completion. So if you have a 30-minute program, this tells you the percent completion. You also have a low battery indicator. And of course, it is important that you receive proper training. And this is why we have our microcurrent training. Uh, the two-day get started is our most popular. You can also use um, graphite gloves. Many massage therapists like to use the graphite gloves to massage the tissue. You can also use electrical probes. This is if you're treating acupuncture meridians or sometimes uh, facial estheticians use the probes to gently stretch wrinkles and try to eliminate deformities. You can also use uh, pads uh, if you're doing a long treatment. But uh, my favorite way is just simply using a washcloth. We fold it in this manner in thirds. And then we, uh, well, well, this is one way of uh, doing a stress or a detox, just holding the gloves. And this is the folded washcloths for doing a detox program on the abdomen or a stress program. So there's many ways of administering the microcurrent. And this is how we administer it to the eye. And you'll learn all these different methods uh, at the Get Started with Microcurrent class. And believe it or not, one of the most effective ways is using a microcurrent in a hot tub. And I know your mother said, never take electrical equipment in the hot tub. You can see on the left, the microcurrent machine and the cables are in the water. Remember the microcurrent is generating a frequency or a vibration. So this frequency or vibration is energizing the water and it's absorbed through your skin. This can be one of the most effective ways to reduce inflammation and to detox your body. Here's an example of using microcurrent to treat an elbow. We put the washcloths above and below the point of entry. Generally speaking, you draw an imaginary line between A and B, and that is um, uh, how you determine the most effective location of the treatment. Now, I'm very happy that Ning Wu, the brilliant electrical engineer, has developed a new Inspirstar machine. It's a much lower cost machine. It has three programs. And we call it the Brain Memory Preservation Machine. And here it is. We have the brain balancing, which balances the autonomic nervous system. We have a detox program. And we have a stress reduction program. I feel strongly that any condition that you have, any disease that you have, these three programs are the backbone for every treatment. When you come to our office for our um, three-day boot camp, the very first program we do is the brain balancing. And we also then do the detox and the relaxation. And of course, we develop a customized uh, machine for your eye and for other conditions. But those of you who might be interested in getting a low price microcurrent machine, and the price for this machine is 500, the investment is $595, which is considerably less than the larger machine, uh, which is $2,250. So this machine is, I think, going to be very effective, especially for patients who are having difficulty uh, with memory, uh, uh, with uh, neurological functions, uh, this is going to be the uh, number one uh, series of programs that I'm going to be recommending. In fact, we are starting our uh, brain and memory program. Right now we have a vision program, but because so many people are beginning to have problems with their memory, we have developed this machine uh, and a new program. And this is an example of some people, everybody 
is using Ning's brain and memory program. And this is a gentleman here on the computer, uh, a lady uh, on her cell phone. <laughs> and it's uh, very easy to use. The electrodes go right onto your temple. And uh, we'll be, if you'd like to have a demonstration on that, we'll be having this at our Get Started with Microcurrent classes and also at the um, uh, the big eighth annual microcurrent conference in October. Now, there's another uh, microcurrent machine called the Avazia. And the Avazia is a very small portable device. Uh, we do not program the frequency specific in this device. It is an excellent device for the treatment of pain. And I became famous by treating this young lady at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. After a five minute treatment, she couldn't walk. They were discussing on whether to get a helicopter to take her out of the canyon. After a five minute treatment, she was able to walk. Now, I was a big hit on the Camino de Santiago. Uh, here's a gentleman here from the Netherlands who had some severe tendinitis. And after a uh, five-minute treatment, he stated that 80% of the pain was gone. And this is also, I used it on my big toe. And here, uh, I hook it up to my feet. I had uh, some pads, and I ran the microcurrent. And there's a, a gentleman from Denmark who I became good friends with. His name is Willie. He had a knee problem. So I had, a, I had a following of uh, people with me when I was doing the Camino de Santiago I was using the Avazia machine. Now in the Avazia protocol, we have a couple of rules. One is treating all scars. Now why is this? Because scars affect the energy of the body. So putting electrical energy in, we help restore the electrical flow. So Anybody listening, if you have a scar anywhere on your body, this could be interfering with the electrical flow and this could be contributing to whatever disease you have, including your eye. So we need to treat the scars. And how do we do this? Well, you can put the uh, microcurrent machine, the Inspirstar machine, put a pad over it, run the inflammation. You can also use the Avazia machine, which treats the point of pain. It's also interesting, there's a phenomenon treating the contralateral points. So if you have a left shoulder pain, believe it or not, you can treat the left shoulder by treating the right shoulder. This may seem kind of really screwy, uh, but there is meridians that run in your body that uh, connect. So treating the contralateral side can benefit. There's another treatment that I really like, and it's called the bowling ball or the little wings. And um, there, I have a YouTube video on this. If you search uh, bowling ball and glaucoma, many glaucoma patients have a reduction in pressure and improvement of their visual function by treating the neck muscles. These tightening of the neck muscles cause an imbalance in the head it sometimes obstructs the cerebral um, spinal fluid flow, which some doctors feel are related to glaucoma. So this is a very simple treatment, treating the neck to lower the intraocular pressure. So this is uh, an outline uh, of the workshop. You'll learn the following. Uh, reducing inflammation, detoxification, uh, balancing emotional centers, uh, treatment of musculoskeletal conditions, improving circulation, increasing ATP activity, stimulating stem cell, and a neuroprotective effect. So you'll learn all these things, how you can begin to use microcurrent. We'll also be talking about the history of microcurrent, microcurrent for dummies, all the machines that are currently on the market, conditions that microcurrent can treat. We'll be talking about frequencies, the key to success, uh, programming machines, and improving uh, results. So the goal of this seminar that we're going to be having is understanding the basics of microcurrent, 
being comfortable to use this technology, combining microcurrent uh, with modalities. And if you are a doctor, you'll be able to treat your patients when you return to your office. Or if you're a patient, you'll be able to retreat, treat yourself comfortably. They, um, if you are interested in more information on the microcurrent seminars that we're having, uh, uh, please give the office a call at 800-430-9328. Um, we have several different options that you can um, investigate. We have the two-day microcurrent training, which is the easiest and quickest way. As I mentioned, we have one next week. Uh, we still have some available slots. We have our annual microcurrent case conference and training the first week in October. And we also have a training program in November. So I want to thank all of you for uh, participating in this uh, webinar. And because of the large attendance, um, I'm unable to really take uh, any phone calls or questions. If you do have any questions, please email the, uh, the office at info at healing the eye. And one of the staff members will uh, return um, uh, your question. And uh, if they're not able to answer it, they always ask me and I'll give them the, the correct answer. So once again, thank, thank you for attending, and I hope all of you become interested in uh, microcurrent and begin to incorporate this valuable modality to improve your vision and health. Thank you very much.